Residents of an Omaha apartment complex say they were scared when a group of men opened fire on them with paintball guns. I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Julie Cornell. Some even say they thought it was real gunfire and they ducked for cover. And this isn't the only incident like this lately. According to police, there have been 10 reports from six different locations since Saturday night. Okay, TV News Watch Evans' Michelle Van Dorn is live with the latest. Michelle? Well, Rob and Julie, take a look. The paint is still splattered all over the walls here at Evans Tower. This place hit twice over the weekend, as well as several locations in South Omaha, several different locations in a 24 hour period. Some of the victims tell me they thought that the paintball uh, balls were real bullets. It seemed like a real gunfire the way they were shooting it, just pop, 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 pop. Those pops turned out to be paintballs. You can see what's left of the attack all over the walls at Evans Tower on North 24th Street. Keith King got hit in the leg Sunday night just before 11. It hit, hit me, it hit Luther, it missed Mr. Fred because it was around about four of us sitting out here. Well, I didn't hear no ricochet or anything like that, but at that time I wasn't even thinking about no ricochet. I was thinking about you know, laying down and getting covered. Same situation the night before when Tommy Holiday and other residents were enjoying the evening outside. Now they wonder what's the motive. This might be just a practice run for them to really come down and do some serious shoot. You know, it might be just somebody, you know, just initiating people for this. Evans Tower wasn't the only place hit by the paintball perpetrators. KETV Newswatch 7 investigates found 10 police reports starting in South Omaha Saturday night around 9 p.m. near 25th and H Street. That's when this 14 year old boy was skateboarding home. Three paintballs hit his backside. He didn't want to appear on camera, afraid he would be a target again. I was like, who would do that? Like, who would shoot at kids? going home. The paintball frenzy continued Sunday night when someone's car was hit near North 16th and Grace. They also shot at people at 29th and T, 27th and Q, and Highland Tower at 25th and B. Feeling unsafe, Holiday and King tell me they want to protect themselves from what may happen next. I might have to go get me a weapon. You think so? Yeah. That's the most likely if it wasn't the balls, it might have been some real ones. Well, according to the police reports, as well as some of the victims, there were several different vehicles used in all of these attacks. They tell me from a black Jeep and a black truck. Some had white males in it, as well as Hispanic and black males over in South Omaha uh, in a silver Jeep, as well as a white four-door sedan. So police can't tell me if all of these paintball attacks are related, but they are taking note of that 24-hour period to see if there will be more this evening. Reporting live, Michelle Bandour, KETV News.